this time on Fishing and Adventure. There's a beast of a girl yeah. off the beach. Yeah. <laughs> he's on, he's on, he's on. <laughs> hey team, it's Scott and Mig here from Fishing and Adventure. Now you're about to watch a full episode that was made for TV right here in New Zealand and we're stoked to be able to bring it to you here on YouTube. We've got heaps of content on our channel, side missions, vlogs, how-tos, so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit it. and join the adventure. Yoo Although we have two very capable boats at our disposal, sometimes it's good to bring things back to where it began for a lot of us, the good old land-based missions. The New Zealand coasts and harbours have some of the best surf casting and rock fishing spots in the world, and we're heading to one of our favourite spots of all, the wild west coast town of Moko. Situated two hours south of Hamilton and one hour north of New Plymouth, Moko is home to around 400 permanent residents, but this swells to around several thousand during the summer months. The place has a classic west coast vibe with friendly locals, black sand beaches and a stunning river aspect. There are some phenomenal fishing opportunities here, but it's very much protected by New Zealand's prevailing westerly weather system. If you are to do any boating here, you'll need to cross the river bar, which is one that needs to be treated with the utmost respect as it's claimed its fair share of vessels over the years. All right, this is the start of our west coast land-based adventure. We've got the rods, we've got the quads. You don't mind a bit of land-based fishing, eh, Miggy? Oh, I do love a bit of land-based fishing. You know, get to cast a line out with the uh, feel of a bit of sand under your feet, it's always good. Sounds lovely, mate. Here, well, we've got no swell, no wind, so we can head up the coast and the conditions are absolutely perfect. After chatting with our good mate Murray from the Moko Motel, he agreed to take us to a spot that was only accessible through private land. So with the quads in tow, we headed half an hour back up the coast with the plan to take the bikes a few kilometres across the farm and to our spot X. Having quad bikes for this mission like this is extremely beneficial as they not only allow you to take a bit more gear than if you were walking in, but also once on the beach, you have the ability to move spots a lot more efficiently. Surf casting is the main focus for this part of the mission and the area where we're heading has a good steep drop off right behind the breakers. This is important as you want to get your baits to sit in the slightly deeper water but can only physically cast them so far. However, we do have a couple of tricks up our sleeve which will help us get our lines out well beyond the surf line. The scenery around this part of the country is world class, ruggedly beautiful and extremely remote. This week's challenge is to land a five kilo table fish strictly from land. First target species for the challenge would be the humble snapper. And although not the best time of year to be targeting the trophy snaps, it only takes one big fish to swim by at the right time, so our confidence levels are high. Looks like a good a spot as any, Meg, what do you think? Sure does, mate. Looks pretty damn good. You know what they say, black of the sand, the bigger the fish. Whew. Yeah, oh, that's, that's the West Coast anyway. saying, isn't it? That's it, mate. All right, so we'll oh. bring some gear up and get some baits in the water. Why not? A few pretty cool selections of combos here, mate. Pretty sport for choice today. We are. What are you going to rock? Oh. Handle? Nah, maybe not. <laughs> okay. I'll probably rock the old uh, Trio Rex Arena. On? Probably on the tournament concepts, Rod. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. I'm going to go with my, my old favourite, the Rex Salt and the Nano Matrix. Beauty. All right. So you're right tools for the job here, that's for sure. Hang on. Big part of surf casting is having the right gear, long rods, and the reels that are designed for surf casting, which these ones are, which is cool. How are you feeling about the uh, challenge today, Mick? Yeah, Confident? pretty good. Uh, you know, if there's one place we're going to achieve, it's probably going to be here. Well, that's the plan. We always say that, though, don't we? Yeah, I suppose so. We are pretty fortunate with the conditions today. I mean, it's a bit of swell there, but really speaking, that's bugger all for this west coast, so... <laughs> Get our lines behind those breakers and she'll be snaps on. All right, so there's our rig there. Clips off so we can run back up the beach and rig it up nice and easy. So we've got our main solid recurve hook there, which is ideally what we're going to be hooking the fish with. Just go through the eyes there. Go through the eyes. Back through the flesh, sort of thread it through. Just helps it hold, helps hold it all together. I'll just go not all the way through, just kind of feed it in so that hook's well exposed with our keeper hook. Uh, that rod. Feed that through, 
Now I'll wrap that up with a bit of cotton, helps hold it all on the hook. It's getting bashed around and obviously the cast isn't doing it any favours, that's for sure, so it just helps hold it on. That's what's doing the trick for me. Good old pilchard. I reckon that's a fish, Mick. Sweet. You're on? Yep. Nice. Yep, for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Nice. There's about a pull back there. We know when we're closer anyway. Whee! Nice. Could be a monster West Coast Gurnard, you never know. Oh, it feels like the box. Oh, it's dragging. Might be a dead fish. Well, it's a fish, Mig. It's a fish. Target species. Target species. He looks a bit worse for wear. No, he's all right. Might be legal on the west coast. 27. Target species. One of them anyway. Oh, well, there we go. Lovely little west coast snapper. All right, making the drink. Grab this for me, Jeff. Thanks, mate. Here he goes. Back through the surf. Out behind the breakers to carry on doing what he was doing. And I reckon Mig's on right here. You on, Miggy? Potentially. Sweet, so I think these fish are sitting behind a sandbank out there and it's we're casting over. You really got to drag him, get him up over that, up and over that sandbank. Can't put too much hurt on these fish. Only fishing with eight kilo line. Dedicated surf casting line to help us get nice long casts. We've got a wave, a bow wave under it. Oh, it's a big old snap, man. Is it a big old snap? What do we got? What on earth? Well, cast a gurney. What do you got? Good. Yeah. That's a yeah. good size. That's a beast of a gurney. That's a beast of a gurney. Yeah. Off the beach. That is a beautiful West Coast gurney. You make a nice addition to the bin. Sweet. He's our lunch, mate. He put up a decent fight. Not too yeah. bad. All right, I'll pop him in the head, get him on some salt ice, and um, get another line out there, because there's, there's a few of these guys. I'm not going to say no to them. Beautiful. Seems to be just a matter of time at the moment. Just cast it out, wait for a little bit, feel a couple of bites, and then usually the weight will come on. No big fish yet, but she's early days. If that tide starts moving a bit more, hopefully we'll uh, get into the big boys. We do have these nice rods that cast pretty damn far, but not quite 350 metres, and uh, that's how far we can go with this thing. On to the peg. And out she goes. Bit of free spool on the trio. It's a very decent, decent cast. Right there, mate, it'll do me. Good yeah, don't want to tighten up on it. I'll tighten up. Yep. Here we go. Done. Perfect, mate. Gee, too easy. The police are doing the damage at the moment. It's the old wrapped up pilchard and a bit of cotton. Just as I showed you before, it is doing the job. So that was barely, that barely out there for a few minutes, really. Don't even bother putting it in the rod holder at the moment. That's always good, especially off the beach. Cannot complain. It's definitely got some good nods, this fish. Hopefully it's target species to snapper, ideally. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a legs. <laughs> He's in the bin. Whee! Yeah. In the bin. Mean. Nice. Epic. A nice West Coast snap. It is indeed, Mick. Beautiful Hang little school. mate. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Can't complain with that. Off the beach. The technique's working a treat. Stunning. There you go, friend. Yep. Cheers, mate. It's a very nice snapper hooked. hooked. Those recurve hooks, especially, uh, Surf casting, you don't want to 
after you finally hook a fish, lose it. So recurve hooks, just roll nice into the corner of the mouth. And uh, there you go, nice solid hook set. Bang on, all right. So there's a lovely bit of mullet belly flap there. One of my favourite baits for snaps. It's just going to be nice and simple. Like we have got bait cotton there, but this is a nice, only just thought out bit of mullet. So I'm just going to run it through, run that keeper hook through the top there. Do the sharp, oh, solid parts of the fins, pectoral fins of the mullet. Yep, there we go. So that's there. That's going to sit like that. I'll slide those lumo beads down there. Oh, lumo sort of float, sorry. You see, let's sit out there. Yeah, bro, go now. And there she goes. Just behind the breakers. Hopefully it won't be long and I'm on. I think I got one. I think there was a sinker. Oh, no, no, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. It's just digging in a bit. It's all right, I'm happy with that. Means it's a better fish. Where are we? In the whitewash there somewhere. Oh, so much fun. Here it comes. What do we got? Just here, mate. Snap. Two snaps. Two! Woo! <laughs> oh, man. How's that? Man, you got a little... That's little how hungry they hooks. are. Yeah, they're out there. Two legal snapper. <laughs> oh, real. Nice. Nice. That's crazy, man. That's why the fight was quite interesting. But we'll take that any day of the week. The old West Coast double whammy. Normally that's on a ledger rig, but today... She's on the one on the keeper hook. Which is that top one there. And one on that bottom hook there. Both solid hookups too. Awesome. Hungry as snapper. There you go, put a bit of mullet on, catch two fish. A West Coast fish. Although they are legal fish, easily 27 centimetres here on the West Coast, we're, uh, we've already got a couple in the bin, so these two can go back in the drink. That way, buddy. Yeah, Meg, nice cast. It's one of the reasons we're able to keep our lines out there and fish these surf beaches, and particularly these West Coast ones, is uh, with a simple but effective sand grabber or breakaway sinker like this here. So these dig into the sand, and obviously they stop your sinker from getting dragged around in the surf. And then once your uh, weight comes on or you get a fish, you really pull it hard, they just pop off. You can wind back in again. So, easy, simple little bits of wire there running through the sinker. Connect it up to our long reach rig, which makes rocking with the old surf cast. Real handy but simple. It's obviously what we like. But like we say, it's the reason we're able to get these uh, baits out there and hold them there. Alrighty. Might be a legal one, this one. Feels like a reasonable fish on the mullet. What do we get? Yeah, it's a gurnard. Yeah. Woohoo! Nice size gurns, Mig. Oh, that's a stonker. <laughs> nice. That is it. Yes. Alright, so. That's a beast of a gurnard. Kick throwing that bait out everywhere. Stunning. Look at the colours on this thing. A bit darker than your average one, living over the black sand, so blending into the background a little bit. Those beautiful wings there. Not only stunning looking, the gurnard, one of the finest table fish in the ocean, so that's a win. Mean, that's going in the bin. So although an extremely productive surf casting session, it seemed to be a case of only the smaller to medium sized snapper in attendance. We persevered right through the afternoon, and being such a stunning evening, it was an easy call to stay right up until dark. 
With another day and a half left to try and complete our challenge, it was now time to head back to base for the night and get ready for the next day's adventure. Day two dawned, and after a casual start, we were back on the bikes and back through another farm, but this time to try and find our five kilo table fish in the freshwater. South of Moko is an area known as Jurassic Falls, and we were told it's also home to some very large eels. A bit of a hike to get in there, but ultimately well worth it, as it's one extremely scenic spot. What do you reckon, Mick? Good spot to nail a five kilo challenge oh, fish? It's gotta be, couldn't be, a, couldn't be a better spot, really, let's be honest. It's, we're still land-based, so technically we're still all good, and we're gonna try and get Beast of an eel. Apparently there's some around here, so. Yep. Hook, nice thick trace, and a good bit of goat bait, which is, uh, should yeah. go pretty well. Let's do it, eh? The Akuma stick bait rod. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I, get, right. I get what you're doing there. Yeah, thanks, mate. You yeah. get it. All right, I let's get, get some eels. Yeah. Nice. I'm envious of your stick now, actually. <laughs> yep. I think I'm on here, boys. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Got one. Go, brother. He's not a monster. Have I got him? I think I've hooked him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. Target species, but. Uh, no challenge fish just yet. Not a challenge fish, so. And I'm just gonna, like we say, we've got the barbs. There we go. File down on these hooks so he just drops off nicely. The goat bait's good to go again. The water is so murky. That's what they like, though. I love it. Darker water, shade. Bit of milk. Oh, oh, what have I got here? What yeah, have milk. I got here? Yeah, swallow. Oh, same one. Yeah, got him. Nice. <laughs> Could be. Lovely little eel. Your yeah. first one? Yellow belly, yep. Yeah, definitely yellow belly. That's what most of these eels in these creeks are. They're yeah. long fin and short in, finned eels and the yellow belly. Is that right, Ben? I think so. About the three, we think. Get that in there. There we That's go. That's it. Back in the drink. Took me bait. There we go. All good. First, first deal for me. Tick. Yep. Oh. Oh shit. yeah, Maggie. Oh, oh, oh he got a fighter. Is it a good? Oh, gotta get rid oh, of me stick. Same size. Oh, he's only a little one. Oh, what? only a little one. Oh, here we go, Maddie. Oh, get out, yeah. mate. KLT doing the job. Another yellow belly. Yep. Oh. Oh. Got him. Nice. Oh, Mick, it's not a smallie. Yeah. Try again. Oh, well, haven't got that challenge fish here, Scotty. Not yet, mate. It doesn't look like it's going to happen either because uh, we're running out of daylight, so. Yep, we've still got a big old trick out of here, so. Um, big day tomorrow, then, is it? Yep, best punch out and head back down to the coast and we'll try and knock it off there, I suppose. Sounds like a good idea, mate. Hang on. So once again, no joy in the challenge fish with even the big eels eluding us. We decided to have one last throw of the dice and target the even more elusive land-based kingfish back at the Moko River mouth. Slide baiting was the technique we were using, but the only live bait we could manage were extremely large kahawai. But after a good couple of hours soaking liveies, we finally had an inquiry from something substantial. Something there, eh? Yeah, there's gotta be something yeah, there. Yeah, boys, we're on. Back that drag off a bit. Yep. Oh, she's solid. Woohoo! Go, Scotty! Go on, mate. We've got an issue here. This this animal has swum towards the boy. Over. Oh, are you sure? That's only the marker boy. He's already in the reef. Oh, I lost him. Bugger. As we think, it probably wasn't a um, our target species, which is a kingfish. I think that was probably a stingray or a bronze whaler shark, but it would have been quite cool to see what it was, but he got me around that marker pole there. And there's a 15 kilo gear, not 37, so. These rigs are awesome, but there's, you do have to play the fish, that's for damn sure. So no challenge fish, but an absolutely awesome couple of days in a truly amazing spot. Yeah. Ah! Come closer, Mick. Hey! <laughs> you do it, works for you too, mate. Look. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> 
Mám dej zde jemlej. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It'll really help us grow this channel and bring you guys way more content. And if you want to score some of our epic FANZ merch, then click the link in the description below, grab yourself a tea and a hat, and uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure.